morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, another vlog for you. I just woke up a little bit ago. I got Camden fed, ready for school, dropped him off. Um, and then Quentin woke up. He always wakes up later than Camden because he doesn't go to sleep till much later because he does not like to sleep at night. So he woke up a little bit later. I made him some breakfast. Um, but I am about to get ready for the day, get dressed. Um, what is the plan for today? I'm gonna take Quentin to the park with Trey. Um, we try to get outside for a little bit every single day, like whether it's going to the park or we have a pond nearby that we like to go to. Um, and then he does have his ninja class he goes to a few times a week. So that's tomorrow. And I think I'm gonna get him a haircut tomorrow because he really needs a haircut. His birthday is in a couple days, so. Oh, I'm gonna go to Pure Bar. I'm gonna go to Pure Bar today. Um, and I actually got my period back. So I haven't had that since before I got pregnant with Trey. So like September of 2021 was the last time I had it and she's back. Yeah, so dealing with that. Um, hopefully I don't get, like I haven't had any cramps or anything, like just started it today. So hopefully the cramps don't come back as bad as they typically are, but we'll see. So to start off the day, before I get dressed like in my, I'm gonna just throw on some athletic clothes because I'm gonna do pure bar today, but, and also I wear them every single day for being honest, <laughs> regardless if I'm working out or not, I'm in leggings and like a tank top or some kind of like sports bra thing. But um, I'm still in my pajamas right now. These are like my Target, my very cozy Target pajamas. I have these in a couple different colors and then this is just a tank. I usually wear a tank to sleep um, and I still have a nursing bra on even though I don't nurse. So um, I'm going to start with putting moisturizer on. I have always been super insecure about like my skin, like my, my arms and my legs. I have like super dry, like scaly skin, honestly. So unless I'm like very tan, my skin is just a problem area because it's so dry and patchy and, um, I also have like lots of um, like ingrown hairs and stuff, which is not cute, but I have found this product that this is my second bottle of it. This stuff is amazing, especially with summer coming up. Like I want to wear shorts. I really, really want to try and make an effort to wear more shorts because even last summer, I, I mean, I was pregnant last summer, but well, for the first half of it, but I wore leggings every day, like long leggings and it's super hot in North Carolina. So that's not something um, that is ideal in this in this area. So I do wanna really start wearing shorts more. Plus I'm like working out so much more now. Um, and I wanna have, like you can tell that I kinda got some color um, yesterday, but I do want to wear more sleeveless shirts too because that's something that, I don't know if y'all have ever noticed, but even during the summer, like really hot months, like I have my arms covered like with like a short sleeve shirt. Like I'm just like insecure about my arms being out and my skin and Anyway, I have found that if I moisturize in the morning, like when I'm like getting ready for the day and I moisturize my whole body, it helps so much and it builds my confidence because it makes my skin very moisturized and very glowy, especially this stuff. This is the Osea. You guys know I am like a diehard fan of Osea. Their products are so amazing. Um, vegan, cruelty-free, plant-based. And so this is the Andaria Collagen Body Lotion. This stuff is so good. They actually have a fragrance-free version and then they have a version with a scent, but it's natural fragrance and um, made with like essential oils and stuff. So there's two different options that you can choose from, but I honestly, this stuff is so good. So I pump a bunch out. I put it all over my arms. Also perfect for spring and summer, just to hydrate your skin. You wanna hydrate your skin every single day, no matter what. Um, winter, summer, it doesn't matter what it is. You wanna keep your skin hydrated, especially as you get older and you age, like you really notice the changes in your skin. And I feel like moisturizing every single day has helped so much, like tremendously with my skin. And it just instantly hydrates your skin and soothes dryness and promotes brighter, smoother, firmer looking skin. It's put it all here. And then I also do my legs because again, it's a problem area of mine. I wanna keep them nice and moisturized, so I do my legs as well. So I do have a code 
with Osea right now. It's Liza Adele 10. I'll leave it on the screen here. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check out their products. Their stuff is so luxurious and it's made with really good ingredients. I just feel way more confident. Like you can just tell how much more glowy and moisturized my skin is now. So I'm ready for the day. I need to <laughs> throw a bunch of these babies in my purse. Um, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, make a little quick breakfast, and then um, we're gonna head out for the day. But I did want to thank Osea for sponsoring today's vlog. Love this brand so, so much. So very stoked and excited always whenever I get to partner with them. by the Tillamook because it's like thick cut. Um, so he likes cheddar, mozzarella. We're out of the cheddar, so I'm just giving him some mozzarella right now, but are you hungry, honey? <laughs> I usually just break it up into, yeah, smaller pieces for him. He loves snacking on it. Is that so good? Is that so good? Mmm. what do you think, honey bear? I ended up taking off a lot of the Swiss because I just was not feeling it on this avocado toast. I usually put cheddar, but we were out of it. And I thought I would like some Swiss on there because I'm like, a, I love Swiss usually, but it's, I don't know. It's like taking over the flavor of the egg and everything else. So I had to take some of it off. Can you wave and say hi? Wave and say hi. Quentin, say hi. Hi. Trey Trey, can you wave? Trey Trey, say hi. Go ahead and wave. Say hi. Yay, say hi. So, it is one o'clock and Quentin is gonna do a little bit of, this is old, a little bit of quiet time. Um, we just got back from the park and he seems pretty tired, so we'll see if he falls asleep or not, but he likes to listen to his Tonys while he does his quiet time, then he reads books and kind of just plays in here a little bit. The kids never make their beds in the morning. I mean, we have beddies, so it's pretty easy, but they just <laughs> don't ever do it. Um, do your kids make their beds in the morning? I'd like to get them into that habit, but we just really haven't. Okay, so, my gosh, I'm so out of breath. We went all the way to the park. Um, we have two different parks, like, in our neighborhood, and we went 
all the way to the one that is like in the sun when you're walking. Um, the other park, you're like in the shade on a trail. So it's nice, but Quentin wanted to go to the one where you have to walk in the sun the whole time, which is fine. But I'm like sweating and so hot. And then when we go to the park and he tells me that he needs to use the bathroom and there's no bathrooms there. So I'm like, okay, well then we need to go home. So put him in the bottom of the stroller, like in the, where the storage is, he'll sit in there sometimes. And then like Trey was in the top part and it's the upper baby. Um, so it's like heavy, you know, to push. And then plus I have Trey and Quentin in it. And I'm trying to get him home because he has to use the bathroom. So I'm like jogging with the stroller in the sun all the way home, like rushing, sweating. We get home. He doesn't need to use the bathroom anymore. I'm like, of course, <laughs> of course. So anyway, yeah, it was a good extra little workout. I did go to Pure Bar this morning. So I just got an extra workout in, which is totally fine. But he's doing quiet time now. I'm, gonna, I'm about to put Trey down for his second nap of the day. Um, Trey usually does go down for his first nap when I go to Pure Bar. And then his second nap is like right before um, I go get Cam from school. So I literally, yeah. I'll typically get about 30 minutes of like, downtime before, from the time I put the boys down for their naps or quiet time to the time that I go pick up Camden. Um, I have like 30 minutes. So usually I'll like, if I have to run an errand or I have to do a little bit of work or like make phone calls or laundry or clean, whatever, like I have 30 minutes <laughs> until the kids go to bed at night. So um, other than that, I'm like running around and I have mom brain. So I'm like, I have to do all of these different tasks and then I'll start doing one and I'll be like, oh, let me go do this and then I'll start something else. And then that just pretty much happens the entire day and I get nothing done. Heading out to go pick Camden up from school. It is, why is my chair up so close? So freaking hot. I honestly, I don't have my car on. What am I doing right now, you guys? Where are my keys? They're in my purse. Um, I always do that. Like I'll unlock my car with my keys and then I'll put my keys back in my purse. And then I get in my car and I don't, I don't have my keys with me. Um, anyway, it's so hot. It is 87. Wow. Um, I don't know why I'm wearing this like pullover right now. It's like cold in the house because the air conditioning. So I always have like a sweatshirt or a pullover on or whatever in the house. And then I like leave the house and I'm dying. Anyway, I'm um, going to go get Cam drinking a little energy drink. Alani new sent me like a box of a bunch of their different flavors and they're, they're good. And I need to pick me up. It's later on in the day. <laughs> I'm already so tired. Just momming around, you know. This flavor is the Cosmic Stardust, and this is pretty good. It's like, I guess, it's like a grape-ish flavor, um, but my favorite so far is the Cherry, I think it's called the Cherry Slush, and then my least favorite is the blue one. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm not really a big fan of the blue one. It's way too sweet for me. I just filmed a reel. I, like I said, I get about 30 minutes of like downtime to do whatever I need to do. Um, right after I put the kids down for naps and before I get cam. So I decided to film a reel to get some content up and I filmed a, f a funny one. Um, it's pretty much about how I've told y'all how it's Quentin for whatever reason, I can't get him to like go to sleep at a normal hour. He ends up falling asleep around like 10 or 11 PM every night. Um, and I don't know what else to do. Like I've tried everything, tried cutting out his nap. That doesn't work. Tried like just taking him outside to the park and like doing things as much as possible during the day to really like tire him out by night still doesn't work. I don't know. Like I've given him uh, magnesium that doesn't work. I've given him, I've got like these like all natural little drops that are supposed to help you kind of relax. That doesn't work. I don't want to give him melatonin. I've just heard too many like crazy things about melatonin. And so I don't want to give him that. But y'all, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. I need all the advice because I didn't have this issue with uh, Camden. He's always just been my like my sleeper boy. Like he loves to sleep ever since he was a baby. Never had an issue with him sleeping. Sleeps all night. Sleeps in when he can um, and like passes out when his head hits the pillow. Um, but with Quentin, it is a whole nother story. Quentin comes down 1200 times to have me tuck him in again, again, and again. And I try to like, like I try to look at it in a different way because I know that when he's older, 
um, I'm going to miss the days where he asked me to tuck him in 1,200 times. And so I, I don't want to, you know, wish these days away or anything like that. And I try to enjoy just tucking him in. And he wants me to give him kisses and read him a story and sing him a song and all this stuff. And I, I love doing that. I truly do. But sometimes I just, like, I need my time to, like, wind down from the day. And I... I don't always get that because Quinn, and it's like Alex tries to tuck him in too, but he really just wants me. So he'll let Alex tuck him in like once or twice, but it's like me he wants. Um, so I'm the one, and I've even tried saying like, no, I'm only going to tuck you in one time. Like, I'm not going to do it if you come back down. And then he cries and I'm like, I can't do that. Like, I can't just let him cry because he's upset that like, I won't tuck him in again. So I just keep tucking him in until he finally falls asleep. And, um, you know, every time I bring him up, I'm like, okay, like, this is really the time you need to go to bed. No more getting out. No more getting out. And he always ends up getting out again. Until he gets so tired that he finally goes to sleep. Um, and maybe it's just his age. He's about to be four. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I need y'all's advice or tips. What to do um, to try to get him to sleep. And it's like we do have a bedtime routine. Like all my kids have a bedtime routine. So maybe I just need to like switch that up or switch the hours up. He really isn't napping anymore. He's mostly do it, doing quiet time. Um, and then... Bedtime is usually around 8, but really he falls asleep much later than that. So that's the little dilemma going on. But anyway, um, I'm going to head out now. And my mother-in-law comes tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that to, like, see her. Um, she's coming for Quentin's birthday, and then the following day is Alex's birthday. Their birthdays are back-to-back. -back. So for Quentin's birthday, it should be, like, really fun. I'm going to take him to his ninja class. I'm going to take him out just one-on-one -on -one to go have lunch and ice cream and then grab camp from school later on in the day and then we're all gonna go to this farm that we go to pretty much every year for Quinn's birthday he loves animals so we do the wagon ride to the petting zoo we feed the animals and then I think the farm's gonna have like a fun little like, farm night they do farm nights on the weekends so there's like music and like food trucks I believe and maybe like bonfires I'm not sure we haven't been before but I'm pretty sure they're having that the night of his birthday. Um, it's just like a coincidence. So I think we're gonna hang out there for a bit and then we'll come back and have cake and stuff like that. So I'm I'm excited for him. I just can't believe that my little baby's gonna be four. I cannot believe he's gonna be four. The days, seriously, they're so long, but they are so freaking short. I just grabbed a chocolate banana smoothie for Camden. He loves these things, so it's gonna be like a little treat right before I, I pick him up for school. And then I decided that I needed to get something to eat too. I'm so hungry. Um, I might have like a few of these jalapeno chips. They like came with it, but I'm trying like to be a little bit healthy. So I don't really want to eat the whole bag, but we'll see. I'll probably end up eating the whole bag if we're being honest. And then um, I grabbed this Thai chicken wrap. So good. If you guys have a tropical cafe smoothie near you, the Thai chicken wrap is bomb. So, so yummy. I'm gonna head to his school. I'm probably gonna chow this down in the car line and then surprise him with the smoothie. You guys are honestly probably so sick of me making the same things every single time I vlog, but I don't know why it turns out that way. You probably think that all I eat is avocado toast for breakfast and tuna for lunch. And that uh, may be somewhat true, but I wanted to share <laughs> these pickles because I just tried them out for the first time. They're a new brand, at least for me. I've never seen this brand before, Sucker Punch. So this is the Fiery Heat 3 Pepper. Um, it is so good. They're really spicy, but they have like an amazing flavor too. So yeah, I'm gonna add these to my tuna and then, whoops, and then I do the Sir Kensington Mayo or I'll use Primal Kitchen. Um, which is like an avocado mayo, but I don't have any left. So I'm going to use the Sir Kensington's. And then I've been putting a little bit of Dijon mustard in there too. And I just feel like it gives it some extra flavor. Um, this is the tuna that I'm using today. Although I do try and buy the, um, what is it called? The safe catch tuna because it's low in mercury, but I just have this today. And then I'm going to sprinkle some everything with the seasoning. And I'm probably going to eat it either with some crackers or on a piece of toast. Also... Not sure if I share this on YouTube. I did share it on Instagram. Y'all know I am like the biggest fan of loopy cases and they just came out with their new checkered cases and they have a few different colors, but this pink is freaking beautiful. It's like a Barbie, like a true Barbie pink. It's so cute for summer. So if they still have them in stock, definitely grab one. Um, I always have the link down below in the description along with my code Liza10 for a discount. 
but it's just so cute. I love it. All right, so I gave Trey a little bit of strawberry and banana. Um, and I swear, he's my third kid, y'all, but it doesn't matter when he, when like babies start to eat like real people food and not like mush, like baby food. It just gives you the worst anxiety. Like he was just gagging and like, he's fine. But like the second he gags or coughs or anything, I'm like, are you okay? Like open your mouth, open your mouth. You know, like I, I just freak out um, because like, <coughs> I will cut up like small pieces of banana, make sure like they're mushy and like small pieces of strawberry or raspberry um, and give it to him. But he will shove like four in his mouth at one time. And I think that's when he like starts gagging because he has so much food in his mouth. So it's a whole thing and it just never gets easier. Even as you have more and more kids, it never gets easier. It's always such a fear of mine. Like choking is so scary. So like the whole food thing just gives me such bad anxiety and um, I really haven't given him like that much. Like I've given him cheese. He's had bread, like soft pieces of bread. Um, and then little pieces of fruit, like banana and stuff like that. And then he's had yogurt and like baby food still. Like I still give him pureed like baby food. Um, and then like puffs and like teething crackers and stuff like that as like snacks on the go. But other than that, he really hasn't had like other foods. Um, because I'm just like scared. And then also he does have the egg allergy, which I still have to get him into the allergist. I've been trying to get um, a referral from his pediatrician to take him to the allergist and get him tested for eggs. Um, and then also I'm gonna go ahead and test him for tree nuts and peanuts as well, just because Camden, as you all know, is, are, is allergic to tree nuts. And so I'm just nervous. I really hope that um, Trey doesn't have any kind of nut allergy, but I need to take him in. So I haven't given him any like peanuts or anything. And I know that early um, exposure is what they say is good. You know, when a, a baby's exposed to like nuts early, it helps them not develop an allergy. But in his situation, since he has some kind of like allergy or something to eggs and then Camden's allergic to nuts, I'm just like too afraid to give him nuts. And I honestly don't remember. You ate it all, honey? Wow. I don't remember when I gave Quentin nuts. Like, I know it wasn't at six months. Like, I did wait a little while, but he, thankfully, has never had any kind of food allergy. So, anyway, I need to figure that out sooner rather than later because Trey's almost 11 months now, and I just don't want to wait too much longer because um, I don't want him, again, to develop any kind of nut allergy. So, I'll keep you guys updated with how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to tell make sure to turn on your bell notifications to get notified. Um, and I will check back in with you guys in the next vlog. Bye.